Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to take you through just a really small update on my Sane Smart Obstacle Avoidance Robot. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I figured I'd get out the Obstacle Avoidance Robot and take you through some of the small modifications I've done. I'm waiting on some parts for the InMove robot to arrive, so I kind of, I'm at a stuck point where I don't have components, I'm waiting on a couple of things, so time to play around with the Arduino and the code, maybe learn a bit more. What I found is this, uh, this is the Sane Smart four-wheel drive rover. If you haven't seen any of the videos I've posted on this, I'll, I'll post a link to the previous video up here. Uh, it's really cheap. Uh, prototyping platform for Arduino comes with all kinds of goodies. <clears throat> Works really good. Pretty impressed actually. Uh, and I've learned a lot from it. So today I think I'll just pull this out on the on the floor. We'll have a look at the way it functions right now and we'll take a quick skim through the Arduino code in the hope that it's going to help someone someday. If you're advanced in coding and the Arduino this video is probably not for you. This is uh, I'm still learning at the Arduino code. I'm by far not an expert, but I've been able to put this together to the point where it seems to function somewhat. Anyway, let's have a look at how it works. So what I did is I modified the code a little bit to deal with corners and uh, turning a little bit better. So let's just turn it on and see how it works. We'll send it off. So I've got the, it to the point where it will run through X loops and then automatically stop and check direction and pick a new direction. And it should, basically every so many loops through the program, stop, look around, see if it can pick out a new better route and try again. Also in the corners it should do quite a bit better I'm hoping. I'm gonna stop this, bring it back around. So with any luck, if I send this off into the corner, it should do a little bit better now at dealing with uh, a proper, better direction choice. And uh, it should actually keep trying, keep turning. If, there, if the direction's still blocked, it should continue to turn. And it didn't do that before. There's, that's what I did in the code. So that's working pretty good. Let's uh, go ahead and stop this here shortly, hopefully. There, let's we'll see which direction it goes now. It doesn't do what good with table legs, <laughs> as you can see there. It still has some trouble. It can't see them if it's not right in front of its face, so it needs some touch sensors. Let's have a quick look at the code. Okay, let's have a quick look at the code here. I'll upload this to Thingiverse as the new version for my Saint Smart code. Right now we're on uh, version 9. So what I did is I added a forward distance check after the turns and I did a few minor tweaks. This code is by far not optimized, but hey, I'm learning and hopefully it can help someone in the future. So what we do is uh, we use the servo library and uh, pitches.h for the sounds coming from the speaker. Define a bunch of integers, some unsigned long for uh, time and time one. I don't think I'm even using those right now. Uh, yeah, upcoming improvements. I haven't implemented that yet. Uh, the Boolean running equals false. This came from some old code examples and the, the Boolean comes up a couple of times. If you can help me out, if you know whether this is needed in the code, if you could have a look, Please let me know in the comments down below, it'd be uh, appreciated. I, I'm not that familiar with the Boolean and I, I looked it up but I didn't really understand how it related to this code so it's been morphed so many times I, I don't think it's needed anymore. Maybe I'll just try commenting them out. So we fire up some serial, we use that strictly for troubleshooting, um, set some more pin modes. Uh, I enter initialize the head servo. This is really not necessary. I could just center it, but I go through the motions anyway. It looks good on startup. Um, time equals millis. This is where I'm going to use 
the uh, the time function, but I found an easier way, and uh, I'm cheating right now. So basically, we go right into getting the current forward distance, set it up as a 35 is uh, if it's uh, greater than 35, add one for my loop counter. So this is what I'm using to define how long I keep going forward before I stop and check directions. Before I used to just go, go, go until I hit an object. Now I stop part way and uh, after uh, 35 loops it'll stop and take a look around. I find that a little bit better. So uh, if the current distance is less than 35 we do a backup and we do a which way. It's pretty straightforward. That's exactly how it sounds. These are how I measure from the, uh, the distance sensor that I have. I, I haven't tried the new ping library. This, this seems to work for me, so I'm, I'm sticking with it for now. Um, I think I should look into that. But, uh, forward motion is the void no danger. Uh, this is the boolean again. Running equals true. Do I need these? <laughs> I even put it in there. Uh, analog right to the motor pins. Uh, if the... Uh, this is where I get my loop timer. If it's greater than 38, I'm not sure why I use 38 there, but oh, heck, whatever works. Uh, I do a which way. So after 38 loops, stop and look around. Looks like I've noted that uh, 40 is a bit long, but not bad. And then uh, this is the backup function. Pretty straightforward. Again, there's that boolean again. The void which way is have a look around. Check the distances, check left, check right, and this is I'm writing the servo in the middle of it. If, uh, if the distance is less than, if one is less than the other, go that way. But then I added this imp back in, check the, the forward distance. If it's less than 45 centimeters, keep going. And that seems to help a lot. Uh, it saves it going back through the loop again. Uh, finding that really made a heck of a difference. That was one of my mods tonight. And it's pretty straightforward from there. There's a total halt. Um, turn left, turn right. Uh, the buzz for the speakers, and this is care of Jaden's, uh, Jaden Edwards' code, uh, avoid fart. It uh, makes a, a short, <laughs> ugly sounding tone. Helps for troubleshooting. I can put those in wherever I want. Anyway, that's the code in a nutshell. I'll post this up on Thingiverse. Throw the link in the uh, description. Hopefully, this helps someone. Thanks for watching.